You know Stair Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh, my goodness. If you could film Astaire, me. Stair, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, nah, no, nah, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please start. watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? What up, y'all? Man, it's been a minute. Yo, look at this shit, y'all. You know what I mean? I do my research. Yeah, that's right. That's August. I seen her on Red Table Talk with Jada Pinkett. 2018, y'all. 2018 when this happened. This is this is crazy. Obviously, I can't play the whole thing because I'm going to get copyright striked on it. But I'll link the link down below on the description so you guys can check it out. Man, this entire episode is like a girlfriend showing off her boyfriend. She's proud. She's showing him off over here. The entire time they're talking, it's, just, it's really just Jada and August. They talk about how he got into a new place, how he was facing addiction, and how Jada was helping him out. And, um, yeah, she definitely helped him out because uh, he actually got attached because he came out with the, what was the song where he talked about fucking Jada? Jada Pinkett song? Let's see. Um, August Alcina drops about, oh, it was called Entanglement, actually. August Alcina Entanglement lyrics. Let's look that up. Let's look at this. The definition of entanglement. It's when you're entangled in the sheets. Girl, I know that we don't call it a relationship, but you're still fucking with me. Entanglements is when you're tangled in them sheets. Entanglements is when you're tangled up with me. Entanglements is when you're getting too deep. Tangled up with me. Shawty leaning on my shoulder. Got her questioning my willpower. Jaded by her beauty, but her reputation real solid. Morning down the hallway, I can tell you how I feel about it. Caught up in the matrix, and I doubt if I can get up out it. Living like there's no tomorrow. Met your boy with open arms. You know he talking about he's talking about Jaden. Tell you all my darkest stories. Promise that you won't depart. Keys to over 40 cars. Left me with a broken heart. Still I gotta get around. Favorite artist was Tupac. Whew. Oh. <laughs> and so, you guys, the main reason I have y'all over here today is because I want y'all to look at this video, man. I, I told myself I was going to stop making these Will Smith, Jada Pinkett videos, but they found me, you guys. This one is, is, uh, is really sad. And, um... Yeah. You know Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh, my goodness. If you could film Astaire, me. Esther, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, no, she, yeah, because she, don't just... Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please start. watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? All right, y'all. So a stare who she's talking about is her name is Aster Perel, right? And so what happened was, if you look at here, I'm on Wikipedia right here. This is the all of the featured guests that was on the Red Table Talk. Aster Perel right here was on season two, episode six in 2019 on June 10th. And she came in, the episode title was Infidelity, Can Your Relationship Survive? And so what I just showed you guys was the episode where August Alcina was on the Red Table Talk. And that was in 2018, July 9, 2018. And about a year later was when they got 
Esther Perel on, well, she got Esther Perel on the show. And we're assuming that this video that we just saw was in 2019. I mean, it, it only makes sense. Esther Perel, that was the last time she was on the Red Table Talk, as you guys can look at this on Wikipedia. Like, she hasn't she hasn't been on the show since 2019, so this happened about a year after August Alcina got on the Red Table Talk. We don't know how long their entanglement was. And he was she was on the show while Jada Pinkett was talking about her infidelity. <laughs> and you could tell Will Smith was absolutely crushed. He was absolutely hard, and Jada don't give two fucks about it, man. Let's let's get back into the video, you guys. This is just it's insane in the membrane. You know, Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's gonna be at the red table. Would you? So you see that face right there, you guys? They're going through something. They're already going through something. Jada already had August Alcina on the red table talk in 2018. They were having their relationship probably before he even got on the Red Table Talk and most definitely after the Red Table Talk situation. So Jada and Will have been going through some issues. You can see it on Will's face. He's hurt. He's fucking hurt. And here comes Jada. You know Esther's coming on the coming on the Red Table Talk, y'all. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining us? And you see this. He rubs his face, you guys. This is uncomfortable. He's absolutely uncomfortable. This is something that if you took psychology, un, un, contrary to the popular belief, you guys, I actually was somewhat educated. When you touch your face, this is a comforting, this is a comforting mechanism, you guys. He's uncomfortable. You see the way he's looking back and forth? It's been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship. I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. He's, 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 this isn't, he's not, he, he, he don't want to be filmed right now. He don't want to be filmed right now. He's hurt. He look like he been crying. Look at his eyes. This dude look like he been crying. He look like he ain't had sleep in a minute. He look like he been going through some shit. He don't know about himself. He's unsure about stuff. And listen to Jada. I would say don't just start filming me without asking me. Oh my goodness. If you could film Astaire, me. come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. And you hear that, you guys? You hear that shit? I'm still dealing with foolishness. She's shaming Will for actually expressing how he is uncomfortable with the situation because Jada's ready to move on. I've had this happen sometimes in my life, you guys. A lot of times, even in my own relationships, where I'm ready to move in a certain in a certain way, but my partner isn't. And it's completely unfair. It's absolutely unfair. I'm in one position where I feel like moving on. I feel like doing something. But this person, woman, is not ready to. It makes me a fucking asshole. It makes me a dick for doing some shit like that. Forcing another person to get into a situation. But Jada doesn't see it that way. Jada doesn't see it this way. Not only does she not see it this way. She's like, oh my goodness. Here's this emotional fucking wreck here. This motherfucking pussy of a husband. I can't believe he's even my husband. That's why I was fucking on this dude that I put on my show. Oh my God. He is acting a fucking fool right now. I'm recording you right now. Can't you get over it? I'm trying to get this person on my show to help us deal with this situation. And she's helped us with it. Can't you see? She's helped us with it. And you can see Will Smith look like he's been in a fucking trenches in a fucking war us again please i'm still dealing with foolishness don't no nah, no nah, she yeah because she don't just look at that he started he don't even know what to say he's getting emasculated right now he don't know what to say he lost his balls in this relationship years ago years ago now why he hasn't divorced jada we can come up with numerous reasons why I... would you say that she look at that He's like, God damn, you're still going down? And not only did she, did he, she ignore what he said, she continues with the questions. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media. Not only does he avoid the question, but he tries to lay down the law. I'm making my money with my social media right now. I've carefully crafted my social media 
Why are you doing this to me? You're destroying my reputation. You're destroying what I'm doing. He addressed the underlying current right there. He didn't just say no. He said, listen, stop. I'm uncomfortable with this. But guess what? He didn't say it like that. He didn't say it like that. He didn't say it like that. Why he didn't say it like that? I don't know. Maybe Jada has this fucking superpower that none of us are aware of. Maybe she's drawing tetragrams in her fucking house and putting chicken legs in it and doing some spells or something that got Will Smith scared or some shit. Maybe she's part of, she's the 33rd Grand Wizard of the, the fucking Ku Klux Klan or some shit. I don't know. Okay, so you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Don't Please watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? You know, Esther Perel is coming to the table. She's going to be at the red table. Would you say she has been instrumental in you and I redefining our relationship? I would say don't just start filming me. Without asking me oh my goodness. if you could film Astaire, me. Astaire, come help us again, please. I'm still dealing with foolishness. Don't. No, no, she, yeah, because she, don't just. Would you say that she helped us heal the hurts that we caused between one another? My social media presence is my bread and butter, okay? So you can't just use me for social media and not, you know, don't just start rolling. I'm standing in my house. Don't just start rolling. Please watch a stare at the red table because she's helped us a lot. Can't you tell? Wow. It's a wonder Will ain't off himself yet. He had to take it out on Chris Rock. He had to. He had to. One other thing about this, you guys, that I just didn't say is that, man, you see the house that they're living in? Absolutely beautiful the hallway to that little dining area is longer is bigger than my entire apartment <laughs> and it's like 20 million dollars a film 150 million dollar net worth don't mean a sh load of beans if you do not have the backbone to stand up for yourself people treat you the way you allow them to treat you and in this situation There's no respect. No respect, you guys. Last thing to you guys, and like, it's the more that we see these videos resurfacing and all this old content, we start to actually craft, we, we start to see who Jada is. And, and it's, it's, it just kind of dawned on me that we know who Will Smith, quote unquote, kinda is. At least we had a, we thought we knew who he was because he's had many, many, many movies. But when I think about it, only know about Jada Pinkett Smith because of Will Smith for the most part. I didn't even know who she was when she was in The Matrix. I didn't even know she was in The Matrix until people said that. And so we don't really have an idea of Jada Pinkett's true character until now. Until Red Table Talk. And dear God, she's diabolical, you guys. <laughs> wow.